country living in my kitchen. Today, I finally got through all the sunflower seeds I had. As you've seen in previous videos, we had a lot of sunflower seeds. And I've been seasoning them and making them and selling them <laughs> to friends and family. But um, these are some barbecue that I made. Not, well, that's the remaining left, but uh, when I make it, I put them in little containers. And I'm Marco, barbecue. <laughs> but um, this is my barbecue flavor. I'm keeping that for myself. I like the barbecue flavor. And these here are some I just cleaned and dried. I let them dry naturally because these are the ones I use for seed. And I just packaged them. Um, there's about 30 seeds here. And I usually, that's how many I put in a pack. And um, I wash them and let them dry. And then uh, that's it. <laughs> and I package them. And these are the same seeds that I will be using um, to plant next year. Um, I also have two batches left that I'm going to make oil, oils with. Um, once I get my, from Amazon, I get my shaler because um, it's, it'll be impossible for me to crack all those things. And I know there's ways to do it, um, but I want to see if this machine works anyway. <laughs> so I've seen people make them on YouTube. But I, I, I'm not that skillful, so <laughs> I decided to purchase one on Amazon. And I'll post the link in the description on it, but I haven't received it yet. So when I do, I'm going to get, do a video on that because I'm going to shell those seeds to make my oil. And I'll show you how, to make my, uh, how I make my sunflower oil. But these are seeds, and I'm going to put these aside. What I'm doing today, I have a batch of sunflower uh, seeds that I need to make for my daughter. And she wants them ranch flavored. So I've uh, washed these several times, of course. And this is my last go because uh, the water is pretty clean. Um, and so... The water is clear now. I keep washing them until I get all the grit gone. And, you know, the petals, I try to make sure they're, you know, sometimes you get petals in them when you're harvesting. <laughs> so, you know. So, what I'm going to do is drain the water off of these. And, and then I will show you the next step. Now that I have... Um, drained all the water off of the seeds. I put aluminum foil over a cookie sheet and I spread them out. Now, they're going to be wet. Let's see. Oh, those are little, so I'm going to let them go. Okay. Now that I have it on the sheet, I spread them out. They're still wet pretty wet because they've been bathed pretty good and now I'm trying to evenly spread them out because you want them to dry and I have my oven already set to 200 I only um you want to slow roast them so they'll completely dry on the inside because if they don't get dry, a fungus may <laughs> grow or mold and you can't eat the seeds. They'll go bad. So you want to make sure that uh, they are spread out so the water will completely evaporate and and so now once I have them spread out on the cookie sheet now 
I get my extra virgin olive oil. I usually use organic. And I brush olive oil on throughout the seeds to keep them from burning. Even though you want you want the um, water to evaporate, you don't want them, the seeds to burn. So the olive oil keeps them from burning. And that's why you keep it on a slow roast. Because you, if you do it too fast, you will burn the seeds inside the shell. Sometimes burn the shell and they'll be dark black and me messed up. And it doesn't matter how much seasoning you put on. You got some burnt seeds, buddy. So I'm doing that with the olive oil. Just to make it go through. And always, you know, make sure you spread it around. Now, oil and water doesn't mix. So, of course, when it goes in the oven, there will be... The water will evaporate and the oil will stay to keep everything from burning. Now, once I kind of messed it up there, but well now I'm going to spread them back out again because now I'm going to do some light seasoning. And um, I always use either kosher or sea salt. I have some sea salt this time. So I'm going to sprinkle it. Sprinkle the seeds with sea salt. So, and be careful because they will, these seeds will stick to your glove and you'll start uh, shooting seeds all over the place. So I'm sprinkling salt. Now I don't put, well this is for my daughter so she said, Mommy, make it season. <laughs> so, I'm, now if this was for me, I would have stopped. <laughs> I would have been stopped putting the uh, salt on there. But, hey, she's 25. She loves seasonings and all that stuff. So, hopefully I can get her to understand that it catches up with you. <laughs> but, all right. And now I'm putting, since she wants ranch flavored, I bought some Hidden Valley Ranch um, seasoning and I'm sprinkling it on top. Now you can do this heavy now, but once they bake with the ranch, the ranch is going to turn brown. It is going to make the seeds look brown. So what you do after that is once they come out the oven, you sprinkle some more on top just to, and then you seal it and that seals the flavor in. But so I got them seasoned and that's going to roast pretty good. And you keep it on 200. Um, you want it to go slow because they don't, they will burn. So, so there, well, there we go. So those are now going in the oven. And then I will show you the finished product. Well, family, it's been an hour, so I'm going to take them out and show you what they look like. So, they are dry, and, and now my next step, just a moment, I'm going to get my gloves. Now that I have my gloves on, now I can do what I'm supposed to do. Now, they're dry, but sometimes that's why I use the aluminum foil so you can, they're hot. So 
You want to be careful, but I loosen them up from and a uh, rule of thumb, which I didn't do, but you can spray oil on the cookie sheet to keep them from sticking. Um, just a rule of thumb, <laughs> which I didn't do, but I'm telling you about it. <laughs> so, um, once I get them loosened up, and like I said, be careful, the pan is still hot, because you want to seal them while they're still hot, and if you want to put more seasoning on them, which I am, because I know if I leave them like this, she'll say, Mom, they're not seasoned enough. So, <laughs> to make them more seasoned, to my daughter's taste, I'm going to add, put them in a bag. I'm going to put them in a bag and put some more seasoning on them. Shake them around and then seal them while they're still warm. Okay, I think I got them all. And they're all nice and toasted. I'm turn off my oven now. <laughs> but, and I, ha I can feel the powder and everything. So, I'm going to put them in this bag. And... Like I said, be careful because they're still warm. And I'll know next time to <laughs> spray this. <laughs> or use the non-stick. You know, they have Reynolds wrap that is non-stick. So you can use that if you want, but I'm throwing all of these in the bag, and so, like so, and now, so, grab my seasoning here again, and then add some more seasoning to the bag. That should do it. If she want more ranch, she need to buy it. <laughs> so, once I do that, shake it around, so I'm going to make sure they get in there, and yeah, that's good, season, as you see, try to make it uniform, and I think that's enough in there. Yeah. Spray my seasoning on. I use bags because it's easier to get the coating all on the seeds. Now, then I take a little air. I take the air out the top. So. I seal it back up, fold it over. Want to make sure you get the air out of the bag for now. Okay. Then what I do after that, go out, grab some clean wrap. Now I can't do this with my gloves on, so. <laughs> Since I got them in the bag, and I'm not touching the seed directly, I'm going to get my clean wrap, which uh, 
I don't always do that right either. <laughs> but let's put it back in here before I make a mess. So I grab my clean wrap. Oh, crap. You would think I haven't been cooking for 30 some years. But <laughs> um, you use the clean wrap and you wrap it up. I'm going to I'm gonna put some more on this because it's getting on my nerves. Okay. <laughs> and let me just do it the way my mama taught me. <laughs> oh, I must be tired today. But there we go. Now, makes sense. <laughs> so you take the clean wrap. While they're warm, and you seal it. All right. I think I made some justice that time. So I seal it overnight, and just let it let all that seasoning marinate, and there. I let it season and then tomorrow, once they done cooled off and everything, I put them in a container like this. And then I, I will call her and let her know that they are ready. So that is my lesson on uh, roasting sunflower seeds. Some people do it different. I got to clean this stove. But <laughs> um, there's many ways to roast. Some people sun roast. Um, if I had a deck that um, had direct sun and I could keep the birds off it, <laughs> I would sun roast. But um, roasting in the oven is just as efficient. And if you... If you um, grow your own sunflower seeds, you can uh, you can do numerous things with sunflower seeds. Not only eat them; they're a healthy snack. They're good for cardio, cardiac health. And I'm going to uh, use the remaining batch to also show you a, a facial. Um, mask that I make it helps with acne it keeps moisture in your skin and it it actually adds a glow to your skin I've been making it for a while and it's been changing my skin which I like but that is all I have for today oh I forgot I didn't tell you about my cut cuttings here um these are the last um uh, greens and stuff I had outside and I'm going to start some videos on my hydroponic series and I'm using these cuttings this is my Utah celery tall celery um, that's red mustard those are kale and I got some collards going um, to teach you the hydroponics um, I do apologize for the delay in the hydroponic videos. I was waiting for my stuff from Amazon. <laughs> it's not Amazon's fault. They shipped it out, but it gets delayed when it's trying to get to me some way or another. But it's the holiday season, so that happens. So I can, I'm going to post more videos this week because I have a lot of videos to catch up on. So as always, my family, my people, I love you guys. Stay safe and healthy eating fresh organic foods from the most high. And I'll talk to you again. Shalom.